If you are a normal person, then you will never ever be able to get used to the fact that Donald Trump is the president. Not just because he is a trashy reality television star, but because his brain is melting out of his ears. Like this individual is unhinged and nine times out of ten when he talks, it is completely incoherent. He babbles on about things that make no sense seemingly. Um, but yet people like to frame him as this truth teller who has his finger on the pulse of America. Is that so? Well, let's see if you can make heads or tails of this. We have a situation where we're looking very strongly at sinks and showers and other elements of bathrooms where uh, you turn the faucet on in areas where there's tremendous amounts of water, where the water rushes out to sea because you could never handle it, and you don't get any water. You turn on the faucet, you don't get any water. They take a shower and water comes dripping out. It's dripping out, very quietly dripping out. People are flushing toilets 10 times, 15 times, as opposed to once. They end up using more water. So EPA is looking at that very strongly, at my suggestion. Uh, you go into a new building or a new house or a new home, and they have standards on where you don't get water. You can't, you can't wash your hands, practically. There's so little water comes out of the faucet. And the end result is you leave the faucet on, and it takes you much longer to wash your hands. You end up using the same amount of water. So we're looking at, uh, very seriously, at opening up the standard. And uh, there may be some areas where we'll go the other route, desert areas. But for the most part, you have many states where they have so much water that it comes down. It's called rain, that they don't know, they don't know what to do with it. So we're going to be opening up that, I, I believe. And we're looking at uh, changing the standards very soon. So the way that I took that was that Donald Trump basically just admitted to all of us, inadvertently so, that he takes massive shits. So much so that he has to flush the toilet multiple times to get them to go down. That's what I took away from that. Maybe I'm a child, but nonetheless, that was in incredibly bizarre and unhinged. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Change your diet if you can't get your shits to go down, Trump. Like, <laughs> the fact that the president said that should never be lost on you. And that's just one of many weird rants, you know, he talked about. Puerto Rico being surrounded by big water, raking the forest floor. The man is an imbecile. Now I want to go over the transcript here because I think it's funny. We have a situation where we're looking very strongly at sinks and showers and other elements of bathrooms where you turn the faucet on in areas where there's tremendous amounts of water, where the water rushes out to sea because you can never handle it. You you turn on the faucet, you don't get any water. <laughs> he then adds, people are flushing toilets 10 times, 15 times as opposed to once. They end up using more water. Are they though? <laughs> I don't think people are flushing the toilet that much. I think that you're flushing the toilet that much. Stop flushing the toilet that much, Donald Trump. Change your diet and, you know, maybe you won't be taking gigantic shits like that. Now, there's a question whenever he goes on one of these rants is, you know, did he like start a sentence and not really know where he was going to end it? So he like tried to form a coherent thought midway through that sentence and then just landed in the middle of nowhere. Or did that actually, you know, originate from somewhere else? Well, it turns out this actually was an issue that libertarians were concerned with because as Mother Jones writer Ali Breland reports, Trump's weird toilet rant is actually a crappy old libertarian hobby horse. It goes back to the 1992 Energy Policy Act signed into law by George H.W. Bush. He explains, was the water review another instance of some rogue thought turning into public policy simply because Trump had started yammering in front of cameras? Yes, probably, but it turns out that libertarians have been complaining about toilet water pressure for decades, citing it as an example of statist intrusion. This goes back to 1992, as Chris Good pointed out in The Atlantic in 2011. The low flow 1.6 gallon limit on toilets was instituted with the 1992 Energy Policy 
Act signed into law by George H.W. Bush. Prior to that, toilets used anywhere from 3.5 to 5 gallons according to major toilet manufacturer American Standard. In 1999, then-representative Joe Nolenberg introduced the law to repeal the restriction along with other efficiency standards for faucets, showerheads, and urinals instituted in the 1992 bill. Nolenberg gained the support of 107 co-sponsors including Rand's father, Representative Ron Paul, and now Speaker John Boehner. In a 1998 2020 segment in what might be his magnum opus, libertarian icon John Stossel laid waste to the very same toilet regulations that Trump complained about on Friday. He interviewed toilet pressure enthusiasts who were so bummed out by new regulations on the amount of water that could be used for flushing that they searched junkyards and traveled to Canada to find high-powered commodes. So, long story short, this is an issue, albeit from 1992. It was a big issue back then. Trump's bringing it back in 2019. Man, he he really has his finger on the pulse of America. This is certainly a kitchen, kitchen table issue that Americans probably really care about. How much water it takes to flush a toilet. Yeah, if we're going to talk about water at all, why are we not talking about clean drinking water? Flint still doesn't have clean drinking water. Still. In 2019, um, we have pipelines across the country that are very dangerously close to areas where people get their water and they're leaking all the time. Why are we not talking about that if we're going to talk about water? If we're going to talk about water, why aren't we talking about how areas of the country will be underwater if we don't take action on climate change? I mean, is this really, if you, su if you support Donald Trump and you voted for him and you're considering voting for him in 2020, not that you'd watch this show, but in the event you do, I mean, is this really who you want representing you? Somebody who's concerned about toilets and the water used to uh, flush toilets? I'm asking earnestly. And look, the reason why he's fixated on an issue from 1992 is probably because that was the last time his brain functioned properly. So he might still think that he's living in 1992. I don't know. Whatever the reason is, um, this is not somebody who cares about what the American people care about. Right? He's not talking about healthcare. He's not talking about the issues that impact the overwhelming majority of Americans. He's talking about how many gallons of water we use to flush toilets. This is a total non issue. And just instinctively, you know, even though it was George H.W. Bush that signed this into law, I would probably agree that we don't need to use more water to flush toilets because water is not an infinite resource, right? So, I mean, I, the man's an idiot. I don't know what else to say. With each unhinged rant, you'd think that his supporters would be turned off, but there's a portion of the American electorate that will never abandon him. And that should really be something that scares us as Americans, because that shows us that objectivity is not a thing. They're not willing to weigh out the options and vote accordingly based on their own self-interest. They truly believe that Donald Trump is a type of deity or demigod, and anything he says or does is to their benefit. It's sad, and I don't know what to say about this. The fact that we have so many people who are too far gone, you know, it's not it's not good for democracy. We need people to be engaged politically and to understand the issues that affect them because voters, even though they are self-interested, they're uninformed and they make decisions that oftentimes end up hurting themselves and supporting Donald Trump unquestionably hurt themselves. I mean, just last week we talked about how He's cutting food stamps off for approximately 700,000 Americans. This is going to hurt his own supporters, but they don't care so long as he's going to continue to, you know, implement these types of draconian anti-immigrant policies. Um, it just, it's odd to me. But nonetheless, this is the state of American politics. We have a president, Donald Trump, complaining about uh, toilets. And he is, uh, quote, looking very strongly at sinks and showers and other elements of bathrooms. Okay, Boomer. Mike is a total loser, so don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.